I'm gonna walk you guys through the new Antics 2.0. We loved the old Antics. It was my favorite kayak I've ever paddled. However, we heard your feedback, we heard the feedback from the team, and we made it an even better boat than we ever imagined possible. So what we've done is we took our old Antics, which was an awesome boat, super fun, super playful, great for downriver, and we took all the different things that we could think of to make it even better. So what we started with was the bow. We added a little bit more volume, a little bit more length, higher rocker. What that does is it enables um, easier boofs when you're running down river, easier to keep that bow up and over holes, waves, just a lot more forgiving when you're paddling it down river. One of the most important things that we've proved on with this boat and something that I definitely noticed a little with the old one is we made it much more comfortable. We raised the knees as well as and pulled them in a little bit. So in the end, this boat is a lot more comfortable. So when doing really long days on the river, instead of getting a little sore, potentially having to pop my knees out, I can actually spend the entire day fully comfortable playing every move that I see, whether it's running the Zambezi, the Golly, long days on the water. I am super stoked on how comfortable this boat is. Any boat that I'm gonna spend all day in trying to get vertical is often as possible. I really need a lot of comfort. Uh, this new Antics 2.0 delivers. I can get in here with my creek shoes on and be comfortable all day. The knee position feels like it just slightly adjusted a little bit, a little bit taller, and it seems like I can use my abs a lot more often all day long and get to the very last eddy line on the whole river and still be ready to throw. I think we've really optimized the knee position in this boat to let you do the tricks you want to do all day long without getting a sore. This boat is a couple inches longer at eight feet long. It also has a longer water line. And so first of all, it is faster. It is zippy feeling and it is fun. We didn't want to go too long with it because we can keep it lighter weight. We can keep it easier to turn and you can stern squirt in eddies that are not as deep when the stern is not real long. What that means is when you run the Ocoee, when you run other shallower rivers, you're gonna be able to get vertical in the antics where other people just aren't. We also added some volume right behind the cockpit rim so that once you pick it up, you're experiencing that reckless verticality. This volume kicks in and holds you a little higher out of the water so that your draft is more shallow. You can just get vertical and play in more places. The hull has been turned into a full-on planing hauled surfing machine. This boat really surfs like almost no boat we have ever made before. The main reason why we went to the planing hall is just with the planing hall, it allowed you to have a better boat for running rivers, especially with the planing hall going all the way through the stern. It carries the speed over big holds, surfing, whatever it is. But the actual play surfing, like surfing waves, spinning and all of that is not something that I necessarily felt I needed. But once I got in this boat, I couldn't believe I didn't have it before. And it gets me so fired up to get this boat back to whether it's stakeout, Zambezi, whatever it is. Just surfing even the smallest waves with this boat is actually a lot of fun. With the full planing hull, but also solid edges, it's so much fun to carve. And any wave I get to catch is a lot of fun to do. So for the outfitting, we've got our full brand new whitewater outfitting, which comes with Unishock bulkhead system, which is shock absorbing for when you're doing downriver, play, anything like that. You don't have to worry about pitoning. The whole bow will absorb that shock, which is super awesome, especially when you wanna take this on a little bit harder creeks. You want a little bit more confidence and inspiration. We've got our Sherlock back band um, system. Again, really easy to adjust, infinitely adjustable, quick on the fly, and our standard hip pad and seat pad system as well. Like all Jackson kayaks, the Antics 2 is lightweight, comfortable, durable, and dry. This boat's gonna come in at under 40 pounds, which is awesome. Tons of leg room. There are no holes that go all the way through the boat anywhere, and you are going to love it. You're gonna find that this stern is the easiest to stern squirt boat you have ever paddled. We made the end really, really, really slicey and we increased the surface area so that when you wing it up onto the stern, it's effortless and you can just keep it spinning all day long. I can stern squirt the medium and with our last antics and other half slice mediums, that's a real challenge for me and I can just pick it up and stall it for as long as I want. On top of having the planing hull go throughout the stern, we also lowered the stern rocker. And the reason for that, and that doesn't actually decrease any of my confidence when running harder whitewater, but what that does, it actually makes it so much easier to squirt. It is by far the easiest boat to squirt I've ever paddled. And what's cool about that 
is instead of feeling like you have to put in a lot of effort for a squirt, throughout the entire day, the entire run, I feel like there's three times as many moves that have been opened up due to the fact that it's so easy to squirt. So whether it's from the first hour to the last hour, I don't have to use as much energy and I can do way more moves and way more squirts down the whole run. But also, with that lower stern rocker and ease of squirting, I'm able to maintain it in a squirt much longer, especially with the flatter shape and the better shape in the stern. I can keep a squirt going in flat water for about as long as I want. Is we've added more length to the stern, which really adds a lot more speed, which a lot of people were asking for from our old antics. They wanted a faster boat uh, that's easier to kind of glide over eddy lines, boils, anything like that, and we delivered. We have added a little bit more width behind the hips. By adding more width here, it's still more stable when we're river running. If you get pushed to the back deck, anything like that, it's just gonna make it a more stable, more confident, inspiring river run while still taking that volume out to make it really e easy to play and easier to surf than ever. We also kept the parting line through here nice and forgiving instead of being too sharp. What that means is this boat is easy to paddle down river and it's not gonna try to flip you over when you don't want it to. I love about the Antics 2.0 is coming into the harder rapids of the day, you feel a lot more confidence. It paddles like a bigger boat. It's a little more stable, a little bit faster, so you feel just a little bit happier going into the hardest moves of the day. But then when you get to that eddy line, rake that stern down, it feels easier than ever. So it's an amazing combination of we've improved it for the river running and we've improved it for the stern squirting. So in the end, with the planing hull, the higher bow rocker, the wider stern, I just feel so much more confident running harder whitewater with this. But what's so sick is that even though all of those things have been improved, I have not lost any of the play that I love with this boat, whether it's air screwing on wave, helixes, loops, cartwheels, all of that. It's just the most fun that I could possibly have on the water while still feeling even more confident. The Antics 2 is gonna come in three sizes, small, medium, and large, and it is simply gonna allow you to have more fun in more places than you've ever had before. That pretty much wraps up the Antics 2.0. Uh, this thing is just so much fun. Honestly, this is gonna be a quiver killer. It's gonna be the one boat that you'll wanna paddle for the rest of your life. I know that's what it feels like for me anyway. I'm going out there no matter what run I'm paddling, whether it's river running, playing, whatever, I just wanna take my antics. So if you haven't tried it, go give it a try. I personally uh, think you're gonna love it because I sure do. Anyway, check it out guys.